All right, hopefully you're done coloring in your alligator. We're ready to add some watercolor to it to fill in all those empty spaces. I am going to use, guess what? Green paint. And I might add a little bit of black, but I think I want to go mostly with green because I don't have a lot of as much crayon on here as I would like if I were going to use black, but we'll see. Maybe I'll add a little black. So I'm getting my green wet and I'll start here. And you see how it, it kind of moves off of the crayon? It should. It's only going to fill in those empty spaces. So that green is filling in there. Let me see what happens if I put some black here. It looks good where there's lots of crayon work, so I'll add some black to my green. What I'm afraid is what I'm afraid of is when I get up in here, it's not going to work as well. You also have to be careful not to leave black paint on too long if it gets into little puddles otherwise it will dry and cover up anything you've done so let me finish painting this and I'll get back to you all right I'm done painting my alligator I added a little black to the green to make it pop a little more so I did green first and then I put black into the green and you can see it gives it a really nice contrast now there's some spots where it covered it up completely I'm not sure why usually it um, doesn't stick to the crayon. Might have been the kind of crayons I was using at that time. But for the most part, you can see my designs and the black really filled it in nicely. Once this is dry, we can go ahead and cut it out. So all we have is just the alligator itself. All right, I hope yours come out nice as nice as I think mine did. And I'll see you next week with a new assignment.